What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're making pizza, French bread pizza on the Blackstone E Series electric griddle. I cannot wait. That lid is awesome, and I got a feeling that's going to make our pizza fantastic. So stick around for that. If you are new to the channel, what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. If you're a current subscriber, thank you guys for all your support. We really do appreciate it. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, so we are going to start off by infusing some olive oil with some garlic and herbs. I take about four or five tablespoons of olive oil and then I'm going to squeeze in about two big squeezes of that um, garlic paste and then we're going to add about a tablespoon of that Italian seasoning and we're just going to mix this up into like a paste almost and then a nice French bread loaf I'm going to cut in, into about a third and then split that in half and there's our pizza however it's kind of fat so we want to thin this out we take a cooking pan and push down on it make it nice and flat and look at that it makes it a lot flatter easier to work with and easier to eat and then we're going to just brush that infused garlic oil on there once it's done this is what it looks like right here spread nice and evenly so get our blackstone heated up to about 375 and pss, we put that French bread face down, squeeze it down some more. You can hear that sizzle and you want to make sure we have good contact everywhere. Not to mention we're trying to flatten these even more. Then after a couple minutes, you just want to check it to make sure it's not burnt. Uh, you definitely want to check that every minute or two and check it again. And then it takes about four or five minutes to get them cooked proper, which is right there. And then I move them over to the side, our cool zone, if you will. And that way they can just chill out there while I get the veggies ready. Veggies slash pepperonis. So move our little crumbs out of the way. I got these nice size pepperonis. Uh, get the good ones. <laughs> Don't skip on the pepperonis. So I figure three per. And just get them on the uh, the blackstone. We're just going to cook these up, and then same thing with some uh, some mushrooms. Just kind of give them a head start. Basically, they're going to cook a little bit more when you put them on the pizza and shut the lid. But you definitely want to give them a head start because this is not your typical oven. So after a couple minutes, you want to flip over those pepperonis to the other side. You can see them starting to cup up like that. It's pretty cool. I like that. And Give these uh, mushrooms a little bit of oil so they can get happy there. Yep. Oh, yeah. And then just kind of mix them up. Uh, put some salt on them first and then mix them up. And these little wood turners are working well. So I decided to add some more mushrooms because you know how they shrink up. So. Add some more mushrooms, some more oil, stir them up, repeat. So Mids Pizza Sauce is my favorite, it's my go-to. And I just spread them here on the French bread. Just want to try to get it even. And I put a little too much on that first one, so I decided to steal. <laughs> And put it on the second one and you really don't need too much sauce but that's more than enough right there it's up to you it's per it's a preference so this is a whole milk uh, mozzarella cheese try not to get the skim milk. skim milk it doesn't melt that great so go for the whole milk for sure and we put a layer down on top of that mozzarella a nice thick layer you can see I did not skimp on the cheese at all. I do like a lot of cheese on my pizza. And that's it. We use our our flipper and put those pepperonis on them. You can see I'm still kind of figuring it out. <laughs> but uh, I'm enjoying them. I'm enjoying them for sure. 
definitely easier than everything else I've been using so so we get our pepperonis loaded up on top of the pizza then we add some mushrooms on top of there mushrooms are a little more difficult but whatever no big deal just take your time do your best get them on there and uh, yeah they're slippery <laughs> what can I tell you but I wanted to show you kind of like you know how the uh, the flippers working for me so mushrooms are on and then more cheese that's right a second layer of cheese not as much this time I just wanted to kind of get some cheese on top so it can melt down in and, in and around the mushrooms and pepperonis. So those will still come through, but you got your layer of cheese on top as well. And then finish it off with some chopped parsley. And that's it. We move one over to the right back and one to the left back. That's kind of like our steam zone and then some water right in the middle to steam them up a little bit, melt that cheese shut it set it and forget it leave it for a good three four five minutes till it's done which it is moving back to the center just for a little presentation and that's it <laughs> these are done we're going to give you a quick little close-up here and look at all those beautiful colors and melted cheese the mushrooms the pepperonis the crust it is ready let's go Whee! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at this beautiful pizza. So easy to do, so much fun. I cannot wait to dig in. I think it's gonna be phenomenal. Uh, that lid really did the trick, let me tell you. So uh, first, before we get started, I am going to give it one last thing, a little bit of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. I am a big fan of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. And it makes a difference. The green stuff, the green can stuff is okay, but it ain't quite the same as this. So, anyway, first a close up. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we are gonna slice into this bad boy right now. Let's see, let's get this big guy right here. Oh yeah, look at that, man. Look at that. Cheese is still nice and hot. Mmm. Mmm. Super crunchy. on the outside but nice and soft in the middle that cheese oh my goodness all the flavors of the garlic and the pizza sauce and everything is coming through mm. that is phenomenal put whatever toppings you want on it this is these are two of my favorites pepperoni and mushroom uh, but obviously, <laughs> put whatever you want on, make it your own, so. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It came out just as good as I expected. Even better. I mean, this came out really, really good. You got to give this a shot. So, everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.